Let's take a look at how to create a remote control with your Hack RF. This is the Hack RF1 with Portapack H4M. And I'm going to copy, uh, just for our purposes today, one, one of these buttons and create a remote for the Hack. So the first thing I have to do after I turn my Hack on here is I have to capture one of these signals. So I'm going to go here to capture. And I happen to know that this signal is 433.92, so that's the, the signal we'll capture. And I have to make sure that I'm on the record right there. So you can see I am right there, record. And I want to also make sure that um, with some of these remotes, it's best if you put the trim on because it's going to lessen the file size. So I can go over here to trim, turn that on, boom, just like that. I'll go back to record, and now I'm ready to record. I'll leave all the rest of these settings. C16's fine, the 500K rate is fine. Uh, all these other settings are, are fine for right now. The remote is so close, it's gonna be good. So what I'm gonna do is hit record, then I'm gonna play the signal, and I'll stop recording, and you'll see that it'll trim the signal. So here we go, record. Start the signal, stop recording. So it's trimming that for me now, which is gonna lessen the file size. And we can see what it's naming it, BBD0000. And we'll just let it finish its trimming. All right, so now we have that file. I want to turn that file, I want to put that file into a remote that I'm going to create. So I will go back and I will go to remote right over here. So it looks like I had named something rem already, but normally what happens, we'll start from brand new, is I'm going to go right here. I'm going to hit this plus right there to make a new remote. And it's an unnamed remote. This is calling it all the way down here. This is the file name because I can have a number of different remotes in a, in a file. So remote 0001, we'll just name that, uh, let's see, this is a fan. So we'll name it fan. Fan. There we go. So that file's name is fan, then the remote, let's name the remote bedroom. Bedroom. Right. Okay, so now we've named that. <laughs> and, all right unnamed remote bedroom, that's fine. So we have this now, and now we wanna create a button. So that is this plus right here. So we're gonna hit the plus, and there is my button. So what I wanna do is go up to that button. I'm going to name that button. So the name, we will delete all this stuff in here, and we will just name it on, space, off. There we go. So that button's name, you'll see right here, is called on, off. The next thing we want to do is we want to tell this button where it's get, getting its data from. So that's the path. And it's in captures. So whenever you capture something, it's in captures. So here's the file that I captured. There it is right there. So I've named it. This is the frequency it's on. The icon you can change right here for the way you want it to look. You can change colors of the letters. You can change the color of the background. And then hit done. Now I have that button right there that's matched to this button. And it's called on off. Uh, let's just go back up here for some giggles for a second. 
and let's make that right. So we'll just name, rename this real quick so that we can go back and I can show you. We'll just rename this bed real quick. So this is the bedroom fan, right? And, oh, that's okay. And that's it. So I've got the bedroom fan. So if I come all the way out of this now and I go to remote, we can see there that I've got the bedroom fan. Now, just to show you again, to make it real clear, I've got these, the, this remote here. I wanna make a, a new remote, right? So we're gonna name this one something different. We'll name it uh, office. And let's say we had an office fan. So we hit OK there, office, we'll name this remote All right, we'll name this one fan as well, and let's just name it office, name it office, so I want to show you what it looks like when you have two different remotes. So now remember, we want to go to this button here. I'm sorry, this button here to create a button. All right. So now we've got this ready to go, right? But we haven't recorded anything yet. We got to go back and record. So we'll capture. And this time we'll use a different button just to capture. So I have to make sure that I'm on record. Am I on record? Yes, I am. I'm just... Oh, my trim, got to make sure my trim's on. Boom. So I'm on record, my trim's on. I'm going to start recording. Hit this button. Let's try it again. Boom. Stop recording. Now it's going to trim that file. You can hear the fan just turned on. Turn it off. This remote is really, this is one of the reasons I did this because this remote's so bad. All right, so it's trimming this file and we're gonna put that onto the button that we created. So here we go, we did that, very good. Now we'll go into remote. So we've got this empty button, right? Bam, we're gonna call this We'll just call it one or level one of the fan and we'll hit OK. Now, once that path, it was this one that we grabbed. So it's got the file. We can change the icon to whatever we want. Some cool colors to play with. And we hit done. And there is our button. Now, if we hit this, you can see it's playing the file. We can go back. Oops, we can go back in a remote. We can hit this. This is this is why I wanted to record two remotes. We hit this button, and now we can see all of our remotes, right? So we've got the fan and the office that I created. They're they are both from the same remote, but in theory, you could you would be using two different devices, so you might have two different remotes. And so I've got the fan remote and the office remote. So if I go into the fan remote, there it is on off. Plays that signal for me. I can go, oops, I can go back to this button, go to office. And now if I wanted to in the office, I could create another button. Boom, I have another button, which happens to be the on off button for the fan. Just name it on this time. All right, we wanna to go to the path. We remember it's this first one, which we can always go in file manager and start renaming these 
these buttons as well. All right, I'm done. So now I've got my level one fan and my on off for the lights. And I can choose them at will. And that is my remote. So that's how to create a remote with the Hack RF.